overfitting is the number one reason traders ultimately end up losing money in the stock market. In this video, I'm going to be explaining what exactly that is and how you can avoid it going forward. Overfitting occurs when all of the information you use to build a trading strategy occurs on one data set. A single data set is easy to obtain patterns from. Machines can do it even better than humans. Now, if you are backtesting manually, you are most likely overfitting to the limited amount of data that you can process as a human. However, if you're backtesting programmatically, you can process hundreds of thousands of times more information, hundreds of thousands of times more quickly, but you are still probably overfitting to the data your machine is looking at. In both instances, test data is absolutely necessary. What is test data? Test data is a small subset of all of the data you have available to learn from. This means if you could identify patterns on all available data, you should be able to identify those same patterns on a 70% subset of it. If those patterns that you've identified on that 70% subset do continue to extend into a 30% that you've set aside, then you can safely conclude that you have avoided overfitting. If you have not broken your data set into two distinct groups, one for learning and the other for testing, then you have almost certainly fallen into the same trap that 99% of traders do as well. Overfitting creates overconfidence. The patterns that you have identified have no obligation to continue going forward, which is why building an effective trading strategy is so difficult. Once you can identify a pattern that extends from training data, providing equal returns, volatility metrics, and accuracy scores, then you can safely conclude that you have identified an effective trading strategy. The unfortunate reality is, most traders never take the time to learn even the difference between training and test data, let alone the term overfitting. By watching this, you've gained an upper hand on the majority of day traders. It's almost impossible to do all of this without taking a programmatic approach to trading. I teach traders how to take an algorithmic approach to trading completely for free on my YouTube channel. If you're interested in becoming a seriously competitive trader or you just want to learn other useful tricks like this, be sure to give the channel a follow and until next time, stay sharp.